Measure. We stopped at 62, y'all, but just for good measure, I'm gonna be on this side and catch one. Let's pull a double right here. I got mine, get yours. That's number 63, folks. Yeah, we need to, we need to get a double right here in the, in the in the same frame without cutting the camera. Come on, can he do it? There it is. <laughs> Look at that, boys! Live action, baby. Hey, we may not know what we're doing, but we out here, out here outdoors. Y'all tune in. Number 55, mm -hmm. is that right? Number 55. Number 55, we'll go with it. I mean, it's 50 something. Bunch of fish. Bunch of fish. That makes 50, 50 something. 50, 7, 8, 9, 50 something, whatever. <laughs> Who is it? Yeah. You remember the tree he's on? All right, so like I said, we come down here fishing this here Yakana River right there. Caught 63 stripers slash white bass, whatever you want to call them, in about two hours, two hours and ten minutes, something like that. That makes for a good time. Hey, appreciate y'all watching again. If y'all like the content, like what I'm doing, man, you never know what I'm going to be up to. From day to day and again we may not know what we're doing but at least we're out here out here outdoors appreciate y'all watching y'all have a good one welcome back to the channel look i can't make this up if i wanted to so me and brother zach was down there on the yakona aka the yakana river caught 65 stripers slash white bass whatever you want to call them in a mere two hours two hours ten minutes something like that on my way home and brother james called me we got some tight chains baby not only tight chains we got the second black coyote in the same trap cannot make this up y'all better stay tuned right now right here live action we may not know what we're doing but we out here baby out here outdoors bringing it to you stay tuned so we out here just hanging around james uh he didn't he didn't know he was going i got stuff all over my shirt sorry about that i don't know been fishing i don't know what's going on but anyway james didn't didn't think we was gonna have anything in the traps is what happened so he didn't bring he didn't bring the cage he didn't bring the catch pole he didn't bring the camera he didn't bring nothing I'm having to film with my phone and everything but that's all right though so i said look i'll just meet you out there you go get whatever you need and come back and he said y'all can see the sun's going down he said man we ain't got but 45 more minutes of daylight how are we gonna make this happen i said dude i'm on the way you just find a way to get out of here i'm gonna film it you can do it, whatever. But we ain't gonna let no black coyote, number two, sit in the trap. We ain't gonna let that happen. No, sir, we gonna get that dude right now tonight. We use flashlights if we got to. Don't make no difference. Anyway, I don't know if y'all can tell you, but see that logging road right there? He is right back there, probably 100 yards. Right back there. I'm just waiting on James to get here and praying that we don't run out of daylight so that y'all can get some good footage 
footage, footage of this doggone black coyote. Y'all better stay tuned. Just hang on just a minute. Next time I turn the camera on, we're going to be face to face with James and the black coyote. Y'all just stay tuned. Hang on just a minute. We out here, baby. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm waiting on Brother James. He don't even know that I just went out there. Me and Brother Zach went out there and caught 65 striped bass. He don't even know. So I'm going to tell him that while we're walking to get the coyote, get his reaction on that. He might care. He might not care. I don't know. But we're going to get his reaction. He better hurry up because we running out of daylight. I'm talking about. Look at that sunset right there. Ooh, we might have. I'm going to say at that top dollar, we got about 20 minutes left of daylight. And he's about probably at least five to seven minutes away. So we're looking like this film, this film, I'm old. <laughs> this video, it, it ain't going to be real long. It's going to be short, sweet, and to the point, just simply because we're running out of daylight. And we don't, we really don't have no lights or anything like that to be filming with. So I'm hoping and praying that he hurries up because I don't want the, the footage to be all fuzzy because it's, you know, late, late day, almost dark and all that stuff. And we want y'all to get a good view are these doggone tight chain black guy? Oh, y'all stay tuned. Just wanted to give y'all that little tidbit of information while I'm waiting on James. I'm standing out here in the middle of the road, just bored, waiting on James to get in. I think I hear him, though. Y'all stay tuned. Next time I turn this camera on, we're going to be at that black guy. Don't worry. All right. Stay tuned. Phew. No, better late than never. That pole four is going to fall apart. <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah. Brother James is him. Ain't no telling what he's gonna say when we get out of the truck. He's so pumped right now. This is his happy face. Brother James. It happened. It happened. Same trap and everything. Did I tell you in the last video that I had him on camera that I was gonna catch him? I swear I thought I did. Yeah, you tell yeah, yeah, you told him. You told him. So. And sent me the picture of it. Yeah, you told him. Oh, same man. trap from the last. Same trap. How crazy is that? It is. Oh, you better go to doggone Tonica. <laughs> that's, what I was, that's what I was saying on the way over here. Yeah. I need to go to the casino if I went to the casino, but I would, I'd lose too much money. That's right. That's right. Yeah, get that, get that dog on catch pole before we run out of daylight. Right. Jane, you know what I've been doing today? Catching fish. Me and brother Zach, oh, Zach Potita, however you say his last name, we went way to Yachtner River like some doggone high school kids and caught 65 striped bass. What's all the crappie, though? I seen there's crappie in the picture. Did y'all catch crappie too? Uh, he he caught a couple crappie. I didn't catch no crappie, but he when did. When you gonna tell me when that's where the secret spot is? Man, look, we can't. I can't just tell you everything all the time. <laughs> no, that's just Jack the River. We just went down that way and just willy nilly and just. Man, I hooked one, and I was like, "Oh, this game! I ain't done this since high school. It's game on." So, man, we sat there, filmed every bit of it. Sixty-five, sixty-five that's straight one, back. That's one after the other. Oh yeah, in Pretty less much. than two hours. Well, about two hours and ten minutes. Sixty-five of them. That's fun. Fun that stuff. was fun. Like All right, you was a kid again, didn't you? Man, I was a kid again. <laughs> All right, let's go get this dude. Here it's we go. Solid black. Solid black. That's what he keeps saying. We'll believe it when we get down there. <laughs> dude, that thing is way blacker than the first one. Solid black. I just talked to the guy that was wanting to. He's wanting to look at it. He's wanting to bring, me to bring him straight to the box then and let him look at it. Heck yeah. Look at that. That is the cut dude, that's the coolest thing I ever seen. I ain't never in my life. Oh We're my god. We're gonna start goodness. calling this black coyote road. <laughs> I guarantee it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, dude. I think it's the rock. Th that's what it is, the rock. Mm -hmm. That rock right there down there. Look at that. He got a little white on his chest. It ain't sure much. Does. Though. Man, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, he done got evil, son. Look at him. This one ain't gonna go to sleep on us like the last one. Uh, no, sir. Look at that. Man, James, that is... Is that not crazy? That's the craziest thing I ever have uh, experienced. Two, two black, black coyotes, coyotes right in the exact same trail. Fourth coyote on this road right here. That's right. Third one in this one. And the other one was right up there. Just Coyote Alley, I'm talking about. Man, that's awesome. All right, we're going to get him taken care of. 
Come here, Blackie. Man, that thing's pretty. James done become a professional at that. Hey, I, I got this stuff figured out. Done got, got a got damn pad. Out. As long as his mouth stays over yonder. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Right there. It's crazy how they got the little white streak or something. That's... Uh-huh. Them teeth right there will tear you up. Look at that. Oof. Mm. Mm -mm. I think there's actually one more black coyote on this place. Come on now. I swear, because the, the one that I got pictures on of is he don't have any white on him. Solid black, you think? Solid black. And that's probably a mile away from here on the same property. That's crazy. But I don't know. If I catch a third, we are going to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take 50 cents a piece, turn it into $1,000. <laughs> no. I like it. <laughs> All right, we're getting them taken care of, folks. Man, how crazy is that? Four coyotes, two black coyotes, and that same trap right, right back there. Man, that's crazy. Hey, look, y'all, that's a wrap for this episode. I told you it was going to be short and sweet, but we're running out of daylight. We got to get the coyote taken care of. I got to get back get home. Get back to the, to the wife and the kids, but uh, had to take just a second to come get that black coyote because I wasn't going to let him stay in the trap overnight. Y'all forget that. That is too awesome and too pretty of a coyote. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, spread the word of all the adventures that we're getting into. Because like I said before, you never know what we're going to be doing. Man, I went to just today alone, went from catching fish, wading in the Yachtna River, to coming over here, tight chains on a black coyote. You never know what's going to happen. Hey, we may not know what we're doing, but what, but what is it, James? We out here. But we out here, though. Out here outdoors. Y'all stay tuned in. Another episode coming whenever we figure out something else to do. God bless y'all.